horrible player thread. Makes no effort to roleplay. Plays a dragonborn slash tiefling slash some other kind of wacko freak shit. Makes a munchkin PC when the campaign is story focused. Has never read the player's handbook. Takes more than five seconds to decide their move in combat. And the worst one? Oh, sorry guys, I totally forgot about the session. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you know, that's not exactly the worst thing to happen, is it? No. Like, you know, if he's that much of a pain to play with, it's like, oh, oh no, he's not coming this week. <laughs> oh, oh, guys. No. <laughs> oh, that's a disaster. <laughs> I've noticed that going from in-person tabletop role-playing game to online with the same grip has brought all my players' worst traits to the forefront of my attention now. These things are minor when you're having fun and playing around a table with a group of friends, unless you're a massive fucking social autist, so all of TG. <laughs> I mean, like, I fall into that category, so, you know, I'm not, like, not going to argue, right? But completely annoying when you're online. The player humming and hawing and what action he's going to take is mind-numbing. Especially when he needs another 30 seconds to figure out how to fucking roll a dice online. Look, leave boys alone whenever they're playing Rule 20. Yay. No, it's Yay. absolutely Yay. fucking hot. <laughs> well, to be fair, no, to be fair, no, to be fair, that was only the first, like, what, maybe three, maybe four sessions. Yeah. And then after that, It is work. hard to work out Rule 20. It is, and if you don't have it set up right, it, it is a bit of a nightmare. And, look, you know, it does take some time to get used to. Yeah. But, come on here, these people have been playing for, what, half a year? Yeah. We've only been playing online for half a year now, but this fucking mon can't seem to remember where to click a button to roll a dice. Well, in person he picks up the dice and rolls. No problems, even if it takes a few seconds for him to do the math, it's fine. I mean, like, for me personally, it does annoy me whenever people take, like, excessive amount of time to work out what they want to do. what they're doing, so, yeah. like, just work out what you want to do when it's other people's goes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Just, just do I it, hate, please. I hate that so much. Like, take it... Like, see when boys take, like, all... Like, I'm not even joking. See some people. I think you that's, know a, what that's the biggest problem, I think, with combat, especially with big groups of people. Like, say if you're playing in combat and you've got, like, six plus people, the amount of time it takes to get back to your turn yeah. is... Like, see if you have to wait, like, almost, like, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah to get around to your turn it's it's not fun yeah no one no one's really enjoying themselves in that situation you know why are you so pressed about tieflings and dragonborn or whatever it's fantasy who gives a shit because 99.9 percent of people i've played with who have tiefling or dragonborn pcs don't role play them as very rare outsiders and piss their pants when they write this into the story here's a story party is one human one dragonborn and an elf Dragonborn wrote that his character is very confident and extroverted on his character sheet. Players go to your tavern to meet up with someone who has info. Guy isn't there yet. Decide to chill for a bit. 30 minutes into relaxing at the pub, a bunch of humans walk over to the Dragonborn PC and tell him that he has to fuck off or he'll be in trouble. Uh, why? You're a freak, that's why. Why do you think I'm a freak? You're stupid or what? <laughs> You're stupid or what? <laughs> Look around, you see any other scaly abominations here, huh? Get it yet? We don't want you eyesores hanging around here. Oh, okay. Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of sad, be honest with you, but... Felt like he acted out of character, but oh well. After session, gets a PM from the Dragonborn. Why did you single me out like that? It was pretty rude. I never see you single out the other PCs. Explain to him that he was in a shitty part of town, where prejudiced commoners live, and they likely take their chance to pick on anyone who stands out, and I was just trying to make the world immersive. Oh, okay. He retires his character and makes a half elf <laughs> next session. <laughs> what the fuck do these people expect when they roll a character like that? Also, dragonborn are, lore-wise, very rare. But nearly every single fucking party I've seen has at least one of them. And if not a dragonborn, then a fucking tabaxi, tiefling, turtle, minotaur, etc, etc. Completely fucking kills the immersion. If D&D wasn't so fucking popular, i play a system where you'd have to roll to get a freak shit race. I mean, like, look, okay, I play a goblin a lot of the time. I don't mind what people play, I, as I, long as they play them good. You know what the problem is? A lot of the time when people play a class, or, sorry, not class, at least, they play a human with a funny hat on. Does that, like, you get what, exactly what I'm trying to say, though? The, the, you're, you're just, but that's what they are, though. They're just kind of human. But, like, but they wouldn't be changing their way any other way, though. Like, you know, if you're playing, like, let's be honest with you, it's boxing and you're not licking your balls from time to time. 
I mean, like, are you really a cop person? Yeah. You know? Um, like, you know, if you're a turtle, uh, you know, one of the turtle people, like, I mean, you're not eating a fucking hat of lettuce all the time. I know. Are you really doing it? Exactly. Or are you just playing a human with a funny hat on? Like, I get it. You, you get exactly what I'm I trying to it. say, you know? And I think that's what the biggest problem when it comes to freak shit happens to be. So just play an orc, like the cool kids. <laughs> Worst I ever got was a guy who played nothing but female characters when he was, in fact, a fat hairy guy who didn't know how to roleplay a female character, other than trying to seduce <laughs> people with his character's large breasts and getting bitchy towards male characters that rejected these advances. <laughs> look, oh I'm, look, I'm not going to pass on any judgement to it, guys. I'm not but gonna, I'm judging this guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be like, hmm, I wonder what this fellow's up to. Hmm, hmm. You know? He also didn't pay attention to anything I said and was distracted with his phone or playing with his food much of the time, like deeply examining the taste and texture of chips. (laughs) 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 And did not keep track of his own hit points or spell slots. I do that. (laughs) Bad bitch. Bad bitch. I do that. I do that. When, like, I'm playing at a table. Yeah. Because I forget. Because I'm too busy watching what's happening. But on roll 20, I keep... Yeah. Because it's easier. It is. It is easier. It is. I stopped playing with him after a while. I kind of got the feeling the game wasn't really what he was into. And I just wanted to eat junk food and talk about breasts all day. (laughs) Like, you can do... (laughs) Like, you... (laughs) What is that? (laughs) Nothing. Nothing, I'm just thinking about this guy eating Doritos talking about, <laughs> but the titties though. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the titties are pretty fine though, you say. Like, you can do that without purely playing D&D. Why slow down and ruin the game like that? I don't know, I don't know. Like, for me, I've never played a female character, like, ever. So, and it is something that I am kind of interested in doing, just for, to try and test myself. Yeah. To see if I'm, you know what I mean? Uh, I do like to play classes that I'm normally not very comfortable with. Yeah. Just to try and, like, you know, like a bit of self Push your boundaries. Yeah, yeah you know, like, yeah. I, I am really interested. And we go shit, just kill yourself and ruin <laughs> yeah. the character. Right? I mean, like, the next character I'm thinking about um, after Gobby, I'm really interested in an orc hex blade. Mm-hmm. However, I might go for a female hex blade. I don't know. We'll mm-hmm. see. We'll see. Well, a female orc. Yeah. I don't know. We'll just see how that goes. But let's be honest with you. In the spell jammer game, if you play a martial class at all, you just get your head stomped in. You only last, like, yes. three sessions. So yeah. I suppose I won't need to blow her head off by accident or anything <laughs> if, I, if I'm like oh my god this is cringe guys please make it stop you know hey guys do you like models in your tabletop role playing games because we do too do you like having big bitty waifus on your table because we do too <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties we got lizard bitties we got orc bitties Oni bitties, cat bussies, we've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below, it helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on the story. Honestly, fuck all players who play edgy loners or just characters who have no interest in being part of an adventure. Worse yet, they always do it with the knowledge that the other PCs or the GM will have to go out of their way to find some contrived reason to drag them into the plot or dungeon because the encounters weren't designed or balanced to be dealt with three players instead of four. That <sighs> happens too often. <laughs> that happens far too often, guys. <laughs> I, d- I don't know what it is. I've never really been attracted to the edgy lunar type character yeah. that much. I don't feel like they... I don't know. For me, I just... It's not something that I've really yeah. went towards. See Although him. I was just saying, I really want to play a Hexblade. But look, guys, I've never played a Hexblade. I really want to play a Hexblade. <laughs> so just don't judge me, all right? Try not to. Fucking murder hobo wizard. Proceeds to think that raw is how every D&D setting works. When the DM can't change it to whatever he and his players want. Literally does shit that would get him killed in a normal party if it wasn't filled with that guy's. Only read the player's handbook but wants to be the DM. Trash at actually role playing his backstory so it comes off as a list of excuses for his character to be a shitty person. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, like that, is that not what backstories are meant for? That's just pink. <laughs> is, is that not what backstories were designed to be? It's like, like this is an excuse. And this for me. is why I do the shit that I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my exactly. daddy didn't love me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but like, you know, like that's what backstory yeah. devolves into a, a lot of the time. Yeah, you know? players have to kill a dragon, 
They work with the captain of the town guard and the king to forge an anti-dragon weapon for five sessions. Weapon is forged. PCs plus the town guard go to kill the dragon. Captain explains that since he's the captain, he'll use the weapon. Fight starts. Captain dies instantly, as planned. Drops weapon. None of the PCs think to pick up the weapon. Try to kill it with their shitty plus one weapons instead. Oh, good Christ. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, he said he oh. wanted to do it. Like, let him go ahead and do it, I suppose. Quickly realise that they can't kill the dragon like this. Run for the hills and never come back. Instead of becoming the heroes of the town, the PCs are now remembered as the hated cards by everyone who survived. <laughs> to this day, the sword is still there, and the site of the battle. And the dragon is still alive in his lair. Oh, God. I don't really have words for that. I, I don't know. know. I, I, I have no idea what to say. Um, they were... They were actually like five, work- like five the, sessions the fa- is a long time. Yeah, and like, the fact they were working with them to forge an anti-dragon weapon so for five sessions so they knew what they were doing for five sessions they were forging a weapon to kill this dragon and they don't even take it with them to <laughs> kill know. the dragon you know what this feels like this feels like anytime Tails hand out fucking any magic items because he hands out far too many plus one weapons yeah but they never the plus one weapons that anyone fucking needs <laughs> <laughs> like it's forever it's like I have a plus one long sword it's like no one uses long swords we're, like, we're, we're, we're all dex builds guys <laughs> we're all dex builds like you know maybe that could have been the thing maybe, like, I'm, I'm, just trash <laughs> look guys I'm, I'm not meant for martial weapons okay you know maybe that could have been the case um, I hope maybe maybe they were all dex builds <laughs> like, I'm not using that I've got way better stats for this Players taking a long time to do their turns in combat is probably the most common pacing problem in any role-playing game. A good GM can set game pacing pretty fast and can even use a DM player character to override wishy-washy horseshit mm, like players. I don't know. Like, no, mm, no, no, no. DM player character. That, that sounds like the DM player character is going to end up dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. It, I, I, like, I'm sure there is good ways to use DM player characters, but I've yet to see it. Other than like, so they what, can like use a heel a, bot. So they can use a DM player character to override wishy washy horseshit like players trying to solve a dilemma without having conflict. <laughs> but players who aren't sure what they want to do in combat, who have to evaluate the whole board every turn and make sure they're maximizing their investments, each one of those players adds several minutes to each combat. If two players do it, a single round can take 10 minutes to complete. If a combat takes three rounds, those players are taking 30 minutes away from the game. Just take your damn turn. If you're done in 30 seconds, you can have a second turn in the 5 or so minutes that it takes for your turn to arrive again. If it takes longer than 5 minutes to get back to you, the other players in the GM need to practice being more efficient. Yeah, honestly, that does my dick in. 100%. I, th- I think that's, that's... That would be the only thing I think that... That is tedious I, about D&D. Yeah, I... I, I, th- I love everything else about it. It's just the... <sighs> combat to me I do love combat and I do think it's one of the more fun aspects like don't get me wrong I'm not one of those people who are like oh combat's everything go plans shite or go plans everything combat yeah. shite um, I think one of the basic ways to improve it though is with good pieces in combat and like you know like if you don't know what you're doing it's like oh, uh, 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 point on the head point yeah. on the head <laughs> like, you know like, what I mean just, just fucking do it guys please It'll, like everyone else will enjoy it and like you know if you miss you miss fuck Oh no, I didn't get a my there was a thirty percent better chance of doing this <laughs> instead of that. Oh my god, I've learned everything like well, fuck off. I, I'm not I'm not in the I'm not in the mid. I'm not in the mid. I know a lad who made a min max as fuck clerk just to end up playing a pacifist who does absolutely nothing but heal once while <laughs> once in a while during a game. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's just trolling or not. But it's annoying as fuck. <laughs> I mean, like, I think a lot of the time when people are mid-maxing, I think they just want to play the game at a very high end. Yeah. If that makes sense, I'm not really sure. Yeah. But um, it is, like, you know, like, I don't really mind mid-maxing. The only time it, like, gets into issue if it's, if it's only one person that's mid-maxing yeah, and the rest and of the group isn't. Yeah. And then the DM ends up tailoring the balance level. For that player, and then and then it just fucks up. For yeah, everyone else. and then everyone else is sitting <laughs> yeah. there with their dick in the hands, <laughs> yeah. doing fuck all. Yeah, you know that's the way I view it anyway. I fucking hate horny people. <laughs> I'm making a cosmic horror fantasy plot for my players. 
I gave one player god power that allows her to pass a speech check once per day, with massive consequences later on if she uses the powers too much. And she immediately uses it to rape someone. <laughs> <laughs> Never invite horny people to your games. <laughs> I mean, like, I think there's one way to sum up this entire video. If you're not sure what to do, apply boinkins to heads. Apply boinkins to heads. That's, like, a, know, that's like, a good method in life. In, in life, general. just horny, boink. <laughs> Don't know what to do in combat, boink. Just keep applying boinkins, <laughs> yes. you know. It, it, it will work eventually, you know. So I think that's where we're going to end it for the night, will we? Yeah. I do feel a lot more critical. Like, you know, the last video we did with the whole DMs, I did feel... I feel like it is very difficult to be a DM, and it does require a lot more yeah. than being a DM than as a player. So it's a lot easier to be a shit DM. Where no, it's, no, I think it's a lot easier to be a shit player. I mean, being a shit player normally comes by just from laziness. And being a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Just being, a, yeah, just being a deck. Let's be serious. <laughs> yeah, that is it. Um, so how how do we fix this problem? Let's let's work this out. So first of all, have a wank before the game. Don't show up looking sacks, all right? <laughs> no one else is out looking sacks. So you don't, you're not also you're looking. not coming looking sacks, right? So that's one thing. I, right. Next up, read the player handbook. Just yes. give it a skim over. You don't even need the whole read the whole thing. Just read what your character can do and get a better understanding of what you can do in your turn. Next up, if you don't know what to do. Just fucking ask. Whack, just whack it. Don't don't even bother asking. Just fucking whack it. Oh yeah, just like, fucking you know, in whack combat, it. Just go with Keep it. Keep your phone in your fucking pocket unless you're using it for like the game, the game, the game itself, and that's it. And if you are, turn your fucking internet off. <laughs> I know. Um, is there anything else? What other basic things can pay attention and just be a courteous person? Yeah, making notes does help. Like, yeah, you know, writing anything down. If you I can't say anything. shit about writing notes because I don't. Ri- I write notes. I draw decks and show other people at the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Megan, you're going to get banned from the board, Nina. So you're going to get the point on the head, CR. But no, I think that's what we're going to end. If you guys have any other hints or tips or anything that you've came across, it actually is like, you know what, that actually has made me a much better player. That's actually made me yeah. think about, oh, how can I do this? How can I play this? And like, you know, the thing is with tabletop games or role playing games in general, it is difficult depend on the person and it is also different depending on the group depending on and, the group yeah. and who you're playing with and the DM and everything you know so there's not there's not one shoe fits all type of mentality but as always go check out the links check out our t-shirts that we have out at the minute check out all of our models oh here guys guys if you haven't had a wank before the game you know you should go check out the models because that'll definitely help oh Christ <laughs> so <laughs> check out the it. t-shirts <laughs> check out the models hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.